Have you ever wondered if immortality exists in the animal kingdom? This question might lead you down a rabbit hole of myths and legends. Tales of creatures with eternal life have been woven into our collective consciousness, captivating our imaginations for centuries. But what if I told you that immortality isn't just a product of myth and legend? In fact, it's a scientific reality within the animal kingdom. We're not talking about mystical beasts or magic potions here. Instead, we're referring to a phenomenon known as biological immortality. This is where certain species don't age in the same way we humans do. They don't experience the same gradual decline in physical and reproductive capabilities. Intrigued? You should be. Because in this vast and beautiful world we inhabit, there are creatures that defy the very laws of life as we understand them. So buckle up for an enlightening journey. Let's dive into the world of immortal creatures. Meet Turritopsis dorni, commonly known as the immortal jellyfish. This intriguing creature, modest in size and appearance, holds a remarkable secret. It's a secret that seems to defy the very laws of nature, a secret that has earned it its grand title. The immortal jellyfish hails from the Mediterranean Sea, though it has since spread across the globe, from the waters of Japan to the Caribbean. It's a cosmopolitan traveler, riding the currents in its adult or medusa stage, which is when it's capable of its most extraordinary feat. Turritopsis dorni has a unique ability, a biological loophole that allows it to dodge the finality of death. When it's threatened, injured, or simply grows old, this jellyfish can revert its cells back to their earliest form and grow anew. This process is called transdifferentiation. In simple terms, transdifferentiation is a bit like hitting the reset button on life. It allows the jellyfish to transform its mature, specialized cells, such as muscle or nerve cells, back into immature, undifferentiated cells. These cells can then develop into any type of cell the jellyfish needs. It's a bit like a butterfly turning back into a caterpillar, then re-emerging as a butterfly over and over again. This transformation isn't just a one-time trick. The immortal jellyfish can repeat this cycle indefinitely, essentially bypassing death. It's not truly immortal, of course, as it can still fall victim to disease, predation, or environmental hazards, but its cellular reset gives it the potential for an endless lifespan, a feat unmatched in the animal kingdom. It's important to note that the mechanism behind this phenomenal ability is not entirely understood. Scientists are still unraveling the genetics and biochemistry involved in this process. However, the immortal jellyfish's unique life cycle offers intriguing possibilities for scientific research, particularly in the fields of aging and cellular regeneration. So, in a way, this fascinating creature cheats death. Its existence challenges our understanding of life and death, and opens up a world of biological possibilities that were once thought to be the stuff of science fiction. Now, let's talk about a creature you might find on your dinner plate, the lobster. Lobsters are fascinating creatures that have intrigued scientists for centuries, particularly due to their seemingly incredible lifespans. Some people even believe that these crustaceans are biologically immortal. But is there any truth to this claim? Well, it's not quite as simple as it may sound. Lobsters possess a remarkable trait known as indeterminate growth. This means that they don't age in the way that most organisms do. Unlike humans, who reach a certain size and then begin to deteriorate with age, lobsters continue to grow throughout their entire lives. As they get older, they don't become weaker or less fertile. On the contrary, they actually become stronger and more fertile, their bodies constantly repairing and regenerating. They achieve this through a process called molting, where they shed their old, tight shell and grow a new, larger one. This process is powered by a hormone called ectosone, which keeps the lobster's body in a constant state of growth and rejuvenation. However, before you start dreaming of a lobster's life, it's important to note that this doesn't mean they are immortal. While they don't experience senescence, the gradual deterioration associated with aging, they do face mortality in other ways. For instance, the molting process requires a great deal of energy, and as the lobster grows larger, this process becomes more taxing. Eventually, the lobster may not have enough energy to complete a molt, leading to its demise. In addition, lobsters are still susceptible to disease, predation, and other environmental threats. So, while they may not age in the way we do, they can still die from various external factors. Therefore, while lobsters are incredible creatures that can live for many decades, even over a century in some cases, they are not truly immortal. Their unique biology allows them to sidestep some aspects of aging, but they are not immune to death. But despite their impressive longevity, they're not truly immortal. Our next stop is the world of planarian worms. 
These unassuming creatures often overlooked in the grand scheme of nature hold an extraordinary secret. They possess an exceptional ability to regenerate, a trait that sets them apart from most other life forms. Now, when we say regenerate, we're not just talking about healing a minor wound or growing back a lost limb which in itself is remarkable. No, the planarian worms take it to an entirely different level. They can literally grow back their entire bodies from a tiny fragment. Lose a head? No problem. They'll grow a new one, complete with all the memories of the old. This regenerative ability isn't just fascinating, it's potentially immortalizing. But how does this work? Well, the secret lies in their cells. Planarian worms are packed full of pluripotent stem cells. These cells can become any type of cell the worm needs, from brain cells to skin cells. This means that when a piece of a planarian worm is separated, these cells spring into action, growing and dividing until a new worm is formed. So, in a world of fleeting lifespans and inevitable decay, the humble planarian worm stands as a testament to life's astounding resilience. These worms are the epitome of resilience. So, are there truly immortal creatures on Earth? We've journeyed through the fascinating world of animals that defy our understanding of mortality, from the seemingly ageless jellyfish that cycles between adult and juvenile states, to the lobsters whose longevity is tied to continuous growth, and even the planarian worms that have an uncanny ability to regenerate. While these creatures exhibit aspects of biological immortality, it's important to remember that it's not the same as the mythical concept of immortality. Even these animals, remarkable as they are, are not exempt from disease, predation, or the eventual wearing down of their biological systems. Remember, immortality is a fascinating concept, but even the longest-lived creatures eventually meet their end. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of immortal animals, don't forget to subscribe.